Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on this episode, I want to do something a little bit more fun. I never get to mess with red colors. So here is my punk glam look. Dan and I are going to see their 68 for our anniversary. We've been together for five years. And so yes, we are gonna go on a date. We're going to dinner and we're gonna go to the show and have some fun. So I wanted to get a really cool nighttime look and this is what I came up with. So if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. All right, so I have a clean face. I washed it with Tula, obviously, and I am going to moisturize my face first, and I am going to use my favorite, which is the Tula, the Kefir Press Serum. With clean hands, I'm gonna rub this all around. Next, I'm going to use Eye Renewal Serum by Tula. Since this kefir serum is made with oil, I don't have to really use any other kind of primer. But I am gonna add some like highlighting drops with uh, Cover FX uh, Enhancer Drops. And this is in sunlight. For my foundation, I am going to use Laura Mercier Smooth Finish. And this is in color Dusk. Shake it. I'm gonna put it on the hand to warm up the foundation. And I'm gonna use this Makeup Geek flat brush. And slightly dab. Next we're gonna go in with my favorite concealer which is Makeup Forever HD Concealer in Y31. Next, we are going to set it with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And while that is baking, I am going to do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I use Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate, I, no, in Dark Brown. The key with uh, filling in your eyebrows is you always wanna start with your least favorite eyebrow, the one that seems to be the hardest to fill in. So it's been this eyebrow that I've been filling in and it's starting to become this eyebrow that I need to start with first, but I've been so used to this side, I'm just gonna stick with this side for today. You just wanna do nice light strokes, you can just Build, build from there. All right. So uh, I always start from about the middle and start building and then slowly bring it in. I like that uh, sort of faded look from inside to outside and there you go so from here i am going to clean up my eyebrows see this one's starting to look really bad compared to this one i'm probably gonna have to switch it up soon and start doing this one before this one so now i'm gonna clean up my eyebrows with the Anastasia Pro Pencil eyeshadow primer slash um, eyebrow corrector. And this pencil I noticed can get a little dry, it dries out quickly, so I am going to use um, Smashbox Primer Oil to help uh, blend it. And I'm going to use the Morphe M432 brush. All I'm gonna do is tap the brush onto oil and blend. Look 
cool. So they are cleaned up, but I do want them a little bit darker since I am gonna go for more of a glam punk. So I'm gonna darken them with uh, Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in chocolate. I'm just gonna use an angled brush and I'm gonna dip in and just uh, darken my eyebrows a tiny bit because you know we are going out at night to a concert hall going to see um, I don't even know what genre uh, they would be considered because um, the lead singer I mean it's it's, all, it's a two-man band and the lead singer is Christian like he likes Christian rock uh, so it's like Christian rock slash screamo slash um, hardcore. I don't know. They're kind of like in their own genre. Um, they are like an underground type indie band. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's as good as it's going to get. Sweet. All right. So I don't want to put on the brow gel yet because there's gonna be lots of powders like flying around. So I will wait for the brow gel towards the end. This is Becca Cosmetics Blurring Powder. I've used it a couple of times. I still don't know if I like it. It's very, very fine. And I bought the brush that comes with it. It's a Becca flat brush and the bristles are super, super soft. And it's supposed to, like what it says, it's supposed to blur um, any imperfections on your face. So there is some powder on there and all I do is kind of dab it, give the tap, and I'm just gonna brush it around. I don't know if I like this so much. Are you talking to me? No. Okay. The great thing about makeup is that it's a lot like art. I mean, not like art, it is art. So there is no right or wrong way to apply makeup. It's art, it's, it's your creation. And if there are any makeup artists out there or just you know makeup enthusiasts out there that try to ridic ridicule you when it comes to makeup application or you know, like what colors to blend with what, like them. Like, this is art and this is your face and you do whatever the hell you want with it. So I'm gonna use Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer for my eyes. And this is in candlelight. Probably gonna add some shimmer to my lid so I might as well just put the shimmer primer on. I also like um, all the shadow primers by Urban Decay. They're one of my favorites. and. I actually like Sephora brand primer too. Sephora has really good makeup, actually. Um, so if you're on a budget, there's lots of great dupes with Sephora. Now we're gonna go with a Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and use the color Courtney. We're gonna blend the crease, and this is just a Makeup Geek blending brush. I really do like uh, makeup geek brushes and they're pretty inexpensive. This one was probably like six or seven dollars and it's a dupe to the MAC 217 brushes. So very nice. I think I actually like this better than the MAC. But we are gonna go into the crease. Now we're gonna go with Anastasia Beverly Hills in Modern Renaissance. Hit the crease with this Morphe 507 brush and we are going to go between uh, red ochre and Venetian red, so these two. time I start to panic and I'm like oh my god what am I doing but I have a vision I'm gonna go into this burnt orange right here and I'm going to blend out a tiny bit I know it looks scary right now but it's gonna look good trust me 
I don't even know what it's called, but it was like one of those gift packages. And I am gonna go with Copper Peony, this one right here. Apply this on my lid with another Makeup Geek, and this is a dupe to the MAC 239 brush, so this is just a smaller dupe. And I actually like this a lot more because I do have uh, hooded eyelids, and so my lids are much smaller than the average person. So this is probably like four or five dollars on MakeupGeek.com. Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean with a Morphe R39. And just get under the brows a little bit. I prefer using brown eyeliners and brown, like a dark brown mascara and I'm just gonna stick with that. So I'm just gonna use Sephora's waterproof uh, felt liner pen. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now because I am going to apply eyelashes and it's going to cover the liner anyway. Another Sephora product, I'm just the waterproof crayon. Um, it's just in some brown tiramisu, that's what it's called. And I'm going to line the waterline. Let's finish the face. I still have to put my eyelashes on and just do some touch-ups, but let's do the face because I feel so ghostly right now. We are gonna use Kat Von D Shade Light. I'm going to use the middle color with the Morphe M527. Dab into it. Let's do this dark one too. Under the chin. I'm not good at contouring my nose, so I'm just gonna skip that. As a Hispanic girl, my hair is pretty thin and I have like these little baby hairs, so what I like to do, like, like I have like the cat ears where it's like super thin, just right here, and so I like to get a dark shade and just darken it a little bit. There. I'll take the Morphe E3 brush and use, I swear every time I record, there's always noise. Santa is out, the firefighter Santa, and so like there's sirens like every couple of minutes. But anyway, so we are going to take the Pretty Vulgar blush in Pretty Witty. Take some of that. Shake off excess and just blend in. Now I'm going to take the Morphe uh, M510 brush and the NYX uh, Duochromatic Illuminating Powder in Synthetica. And we're going to do the cheekbones. Let's move on with the eyelashes. I'm telling you, eyelashes always make the look. So we are going to use Lily Lashes in Miami. They're a pretty popular lash. I know my favorite makeup artist, Manny MUA, always wears them. And probably one of like their best sellers, actually. If you wanna know how to apply lashes, make sure you click on the link about lashes and I kind of give you a walkthrough on how to apply them. So, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. The lashes are on, and right now I am going in with the Modern Renaissance and dipping into Vermeer, and I am just putting it in the corners of my eyes. See, I told you it was gonna come together, not look so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to go back with the M507 and dip into the Venetian Red and Red Okra. 
me just get that a little bit darker. Ugh. I hate this so hard. All right, get that waterline, smudge it a little bit. Now we can use the eyebrow gel, and this one is Benefit Gimme Brow. Voluminous Waterproof by L'Oreal. It's one of my favorites, and it's only like seven, eight dollars. Otherwise, I love Benefit Roller Lash. That's probably my favorite. Now for my lips, I don't know what I want to do. I would love like a deep color. However, there is the makeup rule. Like if you have a lot going on with your eyes, you should try to keep it pretty neutral on your lips. But again, there's no real rules to makeup. You do what you want to do. But I also don't want to look too busy. I think I'm gonna do Candy K. There. And voila. But like my room is dark, I have like really dim ceiling lights and I have a studio light facing me right now so I look kind of washed out maybe, but um, in person doesn't look bad at all. Alright guys, so that is it for my look, my punk glam look. Um, it's very glam, so I had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you for sticking around and following me with my, I don't know, my, my, my lifestyle channel because it's not just fitness, it's all good stuff. So again, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. If you like me, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time.